Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today I want to try to recreate one of the stunning colorways we did in the last uh, randomly chosen color dip die where I actually rolled the 20 sided die um, after picking colors out of a hat to determine the proportions. Uh, the color that I want to do today is sort of like a more jewel toned version of my uh, signature broken violet colorway. But I want to try this instead of on the Wool of the Andes base, I want to try this on a sock yarn. Um, so there might be some differences because Wool of the Andes is 100% wool and the Stroll base is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, which means that the colors will presumably strike faster. So we're going to use nine drops of black, and this is the Wilton Colorite Color Performance System Black. It's very concentrated food coloring. Twelve drops of the pink. And then finally 10 drops of the base blue. Now I'm not sure if you can tell, but the blue and black are significantly more pigmented than the pink was. Um, but we've got this now deep purple color that actually feels a little bit similar to um, the purple there. Actually, it's looking rather blue in this cup right now. Interesting. Like a very like, nice deep blue. But anyway, let's go set up the dye plot. To be a true experiment, I should probably recreate this on Wool of the Andes as well, but I want to see if I get something that feels similar on the sock yarn. In this pot I have eight cups of water and I just added one tablespoon of white vinegar. So again the colors will strike a lot faster uh, on the superwash yarn even though it's still there's a lot of dye in there so it'll still probably take a while but uh, once this heats up we'll get ready to go. I have pre-soaked the yarn in just plain tap water. And I guess I didn't say, but I mixed the dye in half a cup of water. And now I am going to pour this in, quickly stir it up, and then immediately, oh, I just reduced the heat too. And now immediately start dip dyeing. And so that color looked very, very blue in the cup, but here we see some beautiful, beautiful reds. The Colorite system does not have a purple in it. Um, it has, you know, blue number one and red number three, but with this black we're also getting some yellows and other colors as well. I keep checking on the color of the runoff because that sort of tells me if I should keep um, dipping quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this color in. Now, you can barely see the yarn that's on the outside. We have some really deep, deep colors there, um, deep purples. It's not feeling as bright as Wilton's Violet, although the center feels fairly bright right now. But look at all of this blue that is left. Um, there is a lot of color left that can be absorbed. I would say that this feels very much like as pigmented as the first one did. I'm curious if this blue, um, how much the blue itself will deepen, but um, I'm going to let this sit for I think 10 minutes and then we will come and add some more vinegar to it. Alright, after 10 minutes the water has actually cleared a lot and we've gone from the bright blue to something that is deeper and more saturated. 
even though it looks like all of this color is absorbing, I am going to go ahead and add more vinegar at this point. I am going to add two more tablespoons. Um, and this should help that last bit of color bind and let it bind a little better. And now I'm going to take my tongs. So again, you can see there's still a lot of blue left. All things considered, that isn't like a ton of color, but this additional vinegar and the heat is still on should help um, us absorb more of the rest of this color. So I will be back in another 10 minutes. 10 minutes after we added more vinegar and that water is looking nice and clear. So I've now turned off the heat and we are going to pick up the yarn. There is a hint of blue back in that water left behind, but all things considered, considering the depth of color that is in our glorious yarn, uh, that is not much at all. We have a deep, almost eggplant purple through this. It's not really a bright blue, it's more medium. I think that we were able to achieve that colorway on a superwash sock yarn. But now I'm going to go ahead and let this cool so then we can wash it. These colors are absolutely amazing, especially, um, I don't know, I'm just really excited. And so far so good, I don't think I see any bleeding. They are so saturated. Um, I wonder what would happen if I increased the concentration of the Wilton Violet even more. Hmm. Uh, right now I'm just using a little bit of clear dish soap. Sometimes if there's any more bleeding, yeah, you might see a little more with the soap. But again, compared to the saturation of the color in the yarn, this is not really very much. Um, at this stage, I am going to rinse out all the soap, hang this up to dry, and come back and share the finished yarn. Move over, Broken Violet. Your jewel tone cousin has just come home. This is spectacular. We have a true deep eggplant purple going through sort of a more medium purple to this uh, oh, deep sort of turquoisey blue. Oh, this is delightful. My dream colors, my sort of dream colors. And I, I am just in love. These colors are actually a more vibrant version of some like miscellaneous broken blacks and purples that I threw together for a one of a kind yarn that I used in this shawl. And that was something that as like a one of a kind leave no tie behind project, I was so in love with that I had to keep for myself. But in this one, the colors are more saturated, more intense and Ooh, you can bet I will be playing with this combination more in the future. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel, click that bell icon to turn on notifications, and give the video a like. I would also love to hear what some of your favorite yarns are from past live streams or other videos that I should attempt to recreate. Because honestly, as a tutorial maker, being able to recreate something that I had dyed in the past means I'm doing something right. Um, and I guess this isn't a complete recreation because this is a different yarn base than the one that I did originally, but I still nailed those colors and I am just so, so happy. If you are a big Chemnitz fan and you would like to support us on another level, check out the Chemnitz Patreon. It is a platform that connects fans with content creators and there's some fun perks and you can find more information in a link in the video description and the iCard. Thank you so much for watching.